Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys another episode of Road to Rank 1 on DB Rated. Today, I'm bringing you guys a match that I played last night. In the first episode, I used all the games that I played live on stream. If you guys want to check out my Twitch where I do do this series live, a link to my Twitch channel will be down below in the description. Let me know if you guys like this version better where I go over some of the games I played or if you guys just like me taking it from the live itself and like compiling it into a shorter form video. These matches though were off stream. I played some more after I got off stream. I played like four more matches later in the night. And this was one of my most satisfying wins on DB. This game right here that I'm about to show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys this game. And then I'll show you guys another game against Goblin Bikers, which is a really cool deck that I don't see a lot of people playing. You guys might be interested in seeing some Goblin Biker gameplay, but let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this version better, where I could kind of go over the games after I played them, or if you guys like the live version. I think both have their pros and cons, but we're going to try it with this one. Road to number one ranked on DB. These are some of the games that I played last night, and let's just hop right into it. So we lose the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Hit him with a good luck. Have fun in the chat. He opens up one for one. Samsara, D Lotus, opening of the Spirit Gates, Lurry, and Ubel. I open up Engraver, Talents, Throne, Beckoning Beast, Call by. So my hand's actually just completely cracked out with a Breaker and Starter, Extender, Extender. So my hand's pretty good. I have no hand traps, so I will just be letting him full combo here. He's going to start with opening. Go search out the Dark Beckoning Beast and then Normal Summon Dark Beckoning Beast, no effect, extra Normal Summon Samsara Dew Lotus. And I'm livid in 60, by the way, at this moment. Um, he goes up into Yama. I say, yep, that's good. He searches out Shavara, of course, one for one, discard Ubel effect to summon out the Lotus and then put back for the Phantom. Then he's going to use the Samsara D Lotus, summon out the Spirit, Spirit effect, set pain, activate pain, destroy Spirit, search Gruesome, Spirit effect, summon Ubel. That's all good. And then he's going to go Squirmer Effect Summon, destroy the U Bell, and summon out the Terra Incarnate from the deck. He's then going to Link 2 into Moon, and then Moon into Requiem, Requiem into Lacrima, Lacrima into Engravers. It's just standard combo. Uh, Engraver put back Moon, summon it out, make Sequence, and then Sequence Effect. That's going to put back the Requiem and the Lacrima and the Engraver. He's going to make Desiree here. So make Desiree, Link off into Second Yama. So this tells me he plays the escape and not the chamber. He's going to use sequence equip and then gruesome summon back out spirit. Charvara destroy the spirit, chain link one spirit, chain link two Yama. So Yama brings back the spirit, spirit summons out Yubel and then make soul of rage because right now he is fiend locked with Charvara on the field, which everybody should know by now, but some people do, do still mess that up. Uh, make the Varudress and then just pass turn. And then I draw into a Grave Squirmer, which is another extender. It's pretty good draw here. Uh, so I go main phase one. I start off with Throne. And right here, he goes Desiree to negate the Throne, which I'm not sure if I totally agree with. I usually like to hold Desiree as like my last form of interruption because it's the hardest one to deal with. The sequence making it untargetable is kind of rough. It makes it so like this card's pretty difficult to out um so me personally if i did want to stop the throne i probably would have went escape so he negates the throne with the desiree i say okay and i then go normal summon dark beckoning beast he says that that's fine and then here i think i, be I believe i say think a sec because I, I i did say think real quick uh, if you guys can see somewhere I, i'm not gonna turn it's whatever so my next play here is activate opening of the spirit gates hoping that he uses escape so if he uses escape to destroy the soul of rage and the opening um that's gonna be fine he's gonna trigger the yama in the graveyard to try to bring back i can go call by and that will prompt a negate with the rudress so that's exactly what he does he chains escape targets my opening and the rage of course and then new chain link chain link one rage chain link two yama and then i go chain link three call by the grave target the rage that of course forces the negate he will detach an extra one doesn't activate it's all within the same effect to destroy my dark beckoning beast which is good but i do have the talents here and talents here just kind of cooks i'm not gonna lie so here i go talents to take and i'm going to be taking the phantom of ubel here to check his soul of rage i then have engraver effect engraver searches for tracked and then i could just do full fiend smith combo he does have the charvara into destroy desiree which is pretty strong uh, i go up into requiem requiem effect summon out lacrima Lacrima effect. That's going to send the engraver to the graveyard. Engraver put back Lurry, summon out engraver, and then he's thinking here. This is where he does use the Sharvara to target the Desiree. He's going to try to use the Desiree here, but I think this is where uh, my man Dank Arm Dragon messes up as again. 
Um, he goes Desiree shuffling back the sequence um, to send the engraver, right? Now, this isn't the worst play because if I don't have an extender in my hand, which I unfortunately do, I, I would have to link off the Phantom and the Lacrima to keep playing and then his Soul of Rage is live. But I think you still just target the, my Phantom regardless. So you go Desiree, shuffle back, target my uh, Phantom. If I chain Phantom to destroy, that's fine because now your soul of rage is live into sp into two more interruptions so i think if he just targeted the phantom then i just lose because i do end up having the extender and i'm able to leave phantom on the board here uh so i say sure that's fine i go squirmer effect to summon and then link off go up into sequence sequence effect shuffle back i make aerial eater and then aerial eater effect to go dump the samsara and then i have squirmer summon back out samsara samsara effect Tribute, summon out spirit, spirit into pain, pain, destroy, search out another uh, gruesome, and then spirit one, throne two, summon out terror, but this is actually negated by Desiree, so I forgot about that. He does tell me, that's my bad. And then I put back to make another phantom, switch to attack. I could try to go battle phase to beat over these, but he says end of main, he goes soul of rage, I just chain phantom, destroy spirit, and then I still just have link off into muckraker, Muttcraker discard, bring back spirit, and then still go battle phase, attack into the Verudras three times per game. So that will end up being game here. Um, like I said, if he targeted the Phantom, I would have to chain Phantom, Phantom, destroy spirit, spirit, summon out Ubel. And then on res, he can go Soul of Rage, Soul of Rage, link off with this, effect, SP, banish. And then I do have the extender to summon, but then he just chains SP, banish itself, plus Lacrima, and I just lose the duel there. So that was a misplay on his part. Uh, if you played it correctly, I should not have won this game because the full U, U Bell end board, if you play it right, you should never lose. But obviously, mistakes happen. Nobody ever plays it perfectly. But breaking that full U Bell board was not the reason that this game is one of my most satisfying games on DD. The second game is the reason that this is one of my most satisfying games on DD. So I open up Nightmare Pain, Ash Blossom, Drone Lockbird, Called by the Grave Emperor. My opponent draws Thrust, Piri Rice Map, Engraver, Piri Rice Map, and Squirmer. So he goes Standby Main, Activate Piri Rice Map, Go Searches Out the Terror. I Droll on Res. He goes Put Back, Make Phantom, and then he activates Thrust to go ahead and set DDG. That's fine. I draw another Drone Lockbird. I'm like, uh, Battle Phase, yeah, whatever. Set to Pass. He draws D Barrier. Then he goes Piri Rice Map, Pay. 4,000. He's supposed to be at 2,000 because he didn't pay for the first one, which he does do shortly. So he's at 2,000. Uh, then I droll again. And then he goes normal summon Lotus. Use the effect of Lotus. I say, yep, that's fine. And then summon out the spirit. Spirit effect to go ahead and set the nightmare pain directly from the deck. And then he links off into moon. He goes, puts back the spirit plus the Lotus to make another phantom. Requiem, chain ash blossom. Chain Phantom, Chain Call By, so Banish Phantom. I like banishing the, or I like Call By on Phantom there because even if I make Phantom on my turn, I can, you know, if I'm able to get to Phantom, then it will be live on his turn. So that's why I did it like that instead of like Call By Requiem or something. Um, I draw into Talents and then I just pass again. He draws Ogre and then he's able to go Engraver, Engraver search track. So he has a lot here. He still has DDG set, which he never used, D Barrier set, Nightmare Pain Extender. But at this point, I'm realizing he like probably can't use a Nightmare Pain, like because he has to have a Dark in hand. Um, so tracked into Lurie, a Lurie effect to summon itself, that's fine. And then he goes into Requiem again, Requiem into Lacrima, or another Engraver rather. He goes into the tank a little bit, goes up into Yama, Yama search Sharvara. At this point, he has a normal summon. I'm like, okay, he's just doing this so that he can go Nightmare Pain destroy and search, which is fine. So Nightmare Pain, destroy Yama, search out Samsara, normal summon Samsara, use the effect, summon out Spirit, that's fine. Then activate Sharvara, target the Spirit, destroy Spirit effect, summon out Ubel. And then link two up into Soul of Rage, Sharvara effect to set trap card. That's going to set the escape of the Unchained there. Go. Yeah, that's fair enough. So he hits me for 18. I'm like, all right. And then he goes main phase two, shuffle back spirit plus U Bell to make another phantom. Pass turn, I draw into nightmare throw, but it does just lose to the escape that I know he has. Escape, target, target, destroy, that's fine, but I have to make my talents live somehow. So chain link one, 
Rage, Chain Link 2, Yama. Put back the Requiem, summon out Soul of Rage, which I probably would have just grabbed back a normal summon, like Lurie or Samsara or something, because you could always go Engraver Shuffle back. So probably should have just grabbed back a normal summon or something. Um, but here I go Talents to draw two. I draw into Mourner and Nibiru. Hey, hello. And then he goes Nightmare Pain, Pop Squirmer, and then he gets the Soul of Rage effect to add back. It's gonna add back a Phantom, and then he's gonna go Engraver, put back the Moon to summon it out. Gruesome Grave Squirmer to summon itself to the side of the field. That's fine. Link two up into Sequence. That's three summons. Uh, sequence effect. I, I go into the tank here, and I'm like, okay, I, let me let me see how this is gonna play out. I go Chain Link one Imperm, target the, or I go Chain Link two Imperm, and then he puts back and makes an aerial eater and then on summon of aerial eater i go ahead and use mourner target the aerial eater and then he links into yama chain link one yama chain link two nibiru chain link two nibiru that's game that's game i say ggs in the chat as you guys can see right there i'm hitting him with that gg yeah that's game because you burned 21. uh i somehow won that game because he paid his half his life points twice with Fury rice map and then i was able to go mourner nib for game which was so satisfying i almost scooped this game so many times this is just goes to show you guys bro on db never scoop because you could always win there's no timer your opponent could mess up you could randomly draw into mourner nib when your opponent's at 2000 but now let's hop into the goblin biker game and after that i'll show you guys where my rating is at the moment all right so going on to game number two i open up terror incarnate chamber tracked throne and gruesome grave squirmer my opponent opens up fuwalos Eteli, ash blossom fuwalos ash blossom so <laughs> like you, you wouldn't even be able to know what his deck is at the moment but rank three turbo he goes Special summon Ghost Ogre off Eteli, a normal summon Ash Blossom overlay into the big Gabonga. Big Gabunga. He's going to use this effect to go ahead and search for the Doug. And then Doug effect, detach to summon it. And then effect on summon to add a Goblin Biker spell trap from deck to hand. He adds Grand Entrance, uh, slaps XZ's Armor Fortress over the Gabonga. And then use its effect to go search for the full armor XZ's. And then he's going to use the goblin biker fucking whatever it's called and then i asked to read the trap it goes effect search detach summon out the clatter sploder uh but use that effect to reborn the gabunga and then turn those two into ip sets the trap card goes up into the armor lancer or the armor dark knight lancer i'm just calling lancer armor lancer end phase effect of the gabunga to attach the goblin bikers gone wild from the deck to it and then pass, I draw Dark Beckoning Beast, so good draw, it's a good normal summon. I then go Throne, he chains Ash Blossom, I'm like, alright, let me think. And then I go Normal Summon Dark Beckoning Beast, to use the effect to go search Opening. Then I then go Spermer effect to summon itself. Uh, I don't want to play into SP, banish my opening, because this opening is going to be really clutch for me. Um, later on, being able to hopefully summon back my Spirit or Samsara or whatever even though I have gruesome. But here, he used the Cattle Exploder in the graveyard, so I had to read this. This card is during your opponent's main phase. If this card is in your graveyard, quick effect, you detach a Xyz material from a monster on the field, so that's any field. And if you do, which I didn't realize, you guys will see, and summon it, banish it when it leaves the field. And then this card has the effect. If a material is attached from a monster on the field, during, uh, except they're in the damage step, you can target one face-up monster on the field, except this card attached to this card's material. So he's going to attach one of my monsters as material. And then this card, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one card on the field, attach it to one goblin XZ's monster you control. So this is going to suck up both my monsters under the Gabunga, which was crazy because it doesn't let me put my Grave Squirmer into the graveyard to use as an extender. So that was rough. And then he also gets to summon back the uh, Doug and Doug's able to search for the grand breakout there. Uh, I then go tracked, tracked into Lurie. And then I go uh, Lurie effect to summon itself. And then on that summon, he uses the full armored XCs, which allows him to perform an XC summon uh, up into Gossip Shadow, which was kind of crazy. And then I link the Lurie into the Requiem. And then here I go opening, opening, search for Dark Beckoning Beast. And then I put back the Dark Beckoning Beast plus the Terror to go ahead and make a Phantom of Yubo. And then I go Requiem effect. He chains Gossip Shadow to change the effect. And then I believe I chain Phantom here. Yeah, I chain Phantom. And then he goes chain IP. And I'm like, okay. 
So link off into SP, I destroy spirit, summon out Lacrima, new chain. I go Lacrima one, spirit two, SP three, target Lacrima, that's fine. So go dump engraver, summon out Ubel. And from here, we're just looking pretty good, to be honest. Uh, Cause I still have engraver effect, shuffle back Lurry to summon it back out. I also still have an opening discard to summon. Uh, he chains SP, target itself plus Ubel, which is fine because I haven't used Throne. So Throne will just allow me to get back the extra body. Uh, so I use Throne to summon out Terror. And then I use Requiem to equip. He said, think on res of equip. So after it equips, he's going to use the effect to attack or equip the Gossip Shadow to it. And then this card has the effect. Once per turn, if an equipped card becomes equipped to a monster you control, you can attach one monster your opponent controls this card as material. This makes it another interruption. So it's going to attach the engraver there. That's going to fall off, but I still do have opening, discard, summon out spirit because I was able to destroy it off a of phantom. So here I go opening, discard, summon out spirit, spirit effect, to set nightmare pain, activate nightmare pain, use the effect. That's going to destroy the spirit. I search out Gruesome Grave Squirmer and then Spirit Effect to summon Ubel. And then here I just have another Phantom for game. So I put back the Spirit and the Grave Squirmer that I searched to make another Phantom. Battle phase. Uh, his guy is being boosted by 300 per material. So it was base 28. So it was over 3000. So attack it to a three times for game, which is kind of crazy. So I, I was able to play through two, three attaches, SP banish twice next game i open up engraver nibiru dark beckoning beast engraver lurry my opponent opens up ghost ogre uh goblin biker grand breakout ogre psychic tracker and imperm so he's gonna go normal summon the ghost ogre special summon the tracker go up into the gabunga gabunga effect search for doug doug effect or no he's gonna go up into the xyz armor fortress first and search for full armored xyz and then Doug effect, detach, summon, effect on summon to go search for grand entrance. That's, a, that's what it's called, grand entrance. Grand entrance, search, detach, summon, and then effect on summon to summon back out the Gabunga, which is fine. This card crazy, by the way. This card crazy. Uh, uh, make IP. He's going to go ahead and set the full armor deck. He's set imperm and then go up into the Lancer. And then end of main, of course, we're dropping the Biru. So I drop Nibiru here. And then I put it in attack because we do have the option to attack into that twice for game. So I'll see if, I'm going to see if I can get there. Um, so I'm going to draw a Druus Worm. I start off with Engraver, Search Tracked, and then Activate Tracked. Tracks able to search for Engraver, Discard Lurry. So I have all three Engravers in hand. Lurry effect to summon itself. And then here I kind of do a play where I go Tracked, Fuse into Desiree. And then I go Link 1 into Requiem, Desiree Effect, Shuffle Back Engraver to send one of the spell traps to the graveyard, which was the full armored XCs. And then here I have Requiem, Tribute, Summon Out Lacrima, no effect. And then I have Engraver Effect, Put Back Lacrima, Summon Itself Out. And then Link 2 up in a sequence, Sequence Effect, Chain Imperm. So maybe in hindsight, I probably should have started with Normal Summon Dark Beckoning Beast and try to bait an Imperm because this is what's going to allow me to get into my engine uh, is the Fiendsmith stuff because I don't have any U-Bell stuff in rotation at the moment. So maybe I should have started Normal Summon Dark Beckoning Beast. I get hit with Imperm, then I go Engraver. Um, so yeah, it's was kind of unfortunate. He goes ahead and negates the sequence there which is pretty good because now, like I said, I don't have much engine. I have no way to dump the stuff into the graveyard, the U-Bell stuff into the graveyard. So I just go opening, search out another Dark Beckoning Beast. And then I think I go extra normal here. Yeah, extra normal, link to up into Yama. Yama effect, go search out Sharvara. That's fine. And then I'm big think here. My play, I'm thinking now I'm like, okay, I can't kill him over this token and put up enough damage i don't think so i'm just gonna try to set up like a board um so i go summon druis Swarm, link two into soul of rage and then chain link one druis target this she changed the grand breakout to summon so that's gonna summon out the gone wild then gone wild when it's summoned summon from deck which is gonna be the cattle exploder uh, cattle exploder effects and then back out the dug 
dog effect, go search another entrance. That's fine. And then here, I'm able to go Sharvara, target the sequence, destroy it, and then Yama effect, banish to summon back out the engraver. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna make DDD. There should be no way he's able to win through that. But these guys detach from any XEs. So I actually misplay there. He goes battle phase, but in main, he uses this thing in graveyard to try to detach from my XEs and special summon it. And I'm like, damn, I didn't think about that. I say it in the comment section or in the chat. So I just negate it, then go battle phase, beat over the board, and then I'm just able to pass turn. He draws Ash Blossom for turn. Yeah, so he uses Grand Entrance to detach. You can banish a card from your graveyard, detach one Xyz material from a monster on the field. Then you can add a Goblin Biker from your graveyard to your hand. So I can't even negate that with the Caesar. So he's able to just get rid of my Caesar negate for free. So I probably should have tried to do something else with these bodies instead of make Caesar. Uh, that's just me not being familiar with the deck. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Uh, don't make <laughs> don't make Xyz against Goblin Bikers because they will just detach all your material. So. It's gonna use the effect, summon this out, effect to summon, summon Doug, and then effect of Doug to go search for the Goblin Biker Grand Bash. Okay. Uh, then I'm gonna go Soul of Rage, target the Goblin Biker's Gone Wild to link with it. He's going to chain Ghost Ogre, which is really rough. Uh, I just use the effect to add back Dark Beckoning Beast. And he does just have game here, because uh, this spell is going to boost all his Goblin Bikers. Or goblin monsters you control gain 300 attack um, for each goblin. So like there's three goblins, they all gain 1200, and that is just game there. So going on into the third and final game, I'm able to go first. I open up Grave Squirmer, Ash Blossom, Dark Beckoning Beast, Terraforming, Sincero D Lotus. So my hand is full of gas. I got extenders. I got protection. I can stop Fuwalos. Uh, my opponent opens up E Telly, Ghost Ogre, Cattle Exploder, Goblin Bikers Gone Wild, and Grand Breakout. So one hand trap, he's gonna go, I'm gonna go terraforming, terraforming for throne, activate throne, throne, destroy spirit, spirit, summon out U-Bell. And then I go normal summon dark beckoning beast, use the effect, search for opening, and that's fine. I activate opening, use the effect, search out dark beckoning beast, and then put back dark beckoning beast plus the spirit to make phantom, normal summon lotus, use the effect, summon out spirit, spirit effect, set nightmare pain, uh, then link off into Yama, Yama effect, go search out Sharvara, and then this is just the standard combo here. We go Pain, search for Gruesome, Spirit, summon back out Ubel, Squirmer effect, summon, make Rage, Squirmer effect, banish, summon out Spirit, overlay, Tavaru Dross. So now I go Yama effect, Soul of Rage effect, add back, summon back, link to, up into Moon, Sharvara, set Chamber, Make Requiem, Requiem into Lacrima, Dump Engraver, and that Effect Engraver put back. And then here I link to into Sequence, Sequence Effect put back. Okay, so I missed out on a draw in this combo. I could have actually did a, I could have had a draw in this combo as well. Um, if I go equip, if I make Necro Equip and then use Opening Discard and then I can draw one which I probably should have done. So it's another reason to watch your replays because you see plays that you didn't do, which you could have. Yeah, so I could have had an extra draw, have this body, and then I'm able to end on Muttcraker as well for a little bit of protection. Um, that could protect my Soul of Rage being destroyed by something like Ghost Ogre. So that's very good to know. Uh, but he goes Special Summon Terra Top, use the effect. I negate with the Varu Dross. He says, hmm, read. He chains Ogre onto that. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I did not have to phantom this because if this Xyz summon card is destroyed, I can actually just destroy the Terra Top as well. Because my plan was to get the level 3 off board. I'm just trying to keep him off level 3. So I do end up phantom negating this, which I just didn't have to do. I could have just let it get destroyed and then use the effect in Graveyard. Another reason to go over your replay. Uh, he goes effect, normal summon. Use the effect to summon. I chain Ash Blossom. He goes e Telly. And I'm like, sure, he summons out Psychic tra Tracker, Tracer, Tracker, yeah, it's Tracker. And then here I go Chamber, Chamber summon out Soul of Rage, Soul of Rage effect, Link with the Tracker. He changed Goblin Biker Grand Breakout, and then I just chain to negate that. And then he has no play because he already normal summoned. If you control no monsters or all monsters control are Goblin Monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. And then obviously get the effect to summon from deck. Um, so yeah, that was actually a 
misplay on my end because I should have still had Phantom on the on the on the board. I did not have to use the Phantom there because, like I said, I could just destroy the Chair Top with the Verudress. I also could have protected with Muckraker and had an extra draw. So I'm glad I watched these replays and let's get to my rating now. So after those games last night, I'm 655 rated. To get onto the leaderboard, I think I checked yesterday and it was about 900-ish or like close to a thousand to even get on the leaderboard. So yeah, uh, 900, once we get up to 900, we'll be on the leaderboard. And then to get like top 100, we need to be like 1100 rating. And as you guys are seeing this video, I'm probably live on Twitch doing this series live, playing DB, trying to get to rank number one. And that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Link to my Twitch will be down below in the description. And I'm out. Peace.